This episode of the EV Resource Podcast is brought to you by Titan Auto and Tire. Titan has some of the very few independent auto repair shops in Central Virginia that are qualified to work on EVs and hybrids. And from hybrids to Hummers, they fix everything. For more information and to schedule an appointment for your vehicle, go to TitanAutoTire.com. Coming up this week. It goes down to things like the tires. Those are one of the lowest rolling resistance tires in the market. In 2013, actually, a go cycle wheel and human powered vehicle set the world speed record. Well, hello, friends, and welcome to episode 173 of the EV Resource Podcast. I'm Zach Hurst, and each week I bring you the latest EV news, information, and interviews with industry experts. So I'm here at Electrify Expo in Washington, D.C. I'm with Richard Thorpe, CEO of GoCycle. You've got some exciting things for us to look at today. Isn't that right? Yes. Uh, I left McLaren Cars in 2002 to start the company. Okay. Well, uh, that makes us a pioneer in industry. But as we say, we've probably still got some exciting products out here today. So what is it about GoCycle that is is that excitement? What is it that you guys are offering that really sets you apart from maybe some other options that people might be looking at? Uh, I started in the industry a lot earlier than everyone and took a clean sheet approach to the design of a, of an urban electric bicycle. Sure. That means we develop about the electronic the batteries, the frame, everything. Okay. There's nothing on this product that hasn't been born for the right solution for the right job. Mm-hmm. It's a complete no comp- compromise approach to building an electric bike. The rest of the industry buys motors from Bart, builds mm-hmm. a frame, and gets some wheels from someone else. Sure. That's not us. So you're vertically integrated, which means that you have ultimate control over every step of the process to really fine tune it to be exactly what you're looking for. That's right. You don't have to compromise because you have to integrate somebody else's equipment or even on the software aspect into what you're doing. Exactly. Okay. Very difficult to do. I would imagine. But as I said, uh, after 20 years, we still have problems with most society. We still have problems with urban staff free. Okay. Well, I want to take a look at what I'm about to ride here, uh, this white one over here. What can you tell us about what I am going to expect from this? So everything about Go Cycle you can see is a, a clean, sh- clean sheet of road. Uh, there's no cables. Very easy to clean. Uh-huh. It's designed for people that are living in small urban environments. So you can take it into your lap, uh, sure. mm-hmm. yeah. put it in your car. And that's you like you can get your uh, your clothes or your pockets dirty with grease. Right, right. Uh, the 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 product is very very clean. It's uh, a design with unique geometry called veganomic geometry, which means that it can fit a wide range of people from one skew. Sure. Okay. So it is kind of a one size fits all as yeah. so much as you can. I wouldn't say. <laughs> yeah. Describe it in that way, but my family, my wife, myself, my son, we use the same. Okay. Product. Uh, it's the seat post is at an angle that uh, means when you when you lower, lower and you make the seat post, you get a different uh, reach adjustment. Uh-huh. So sure. you can fit taller and taller guys. Sure. Very much about that whole clean seat post to how would you design the perfect area. And I'm looking at these, and I did see the other one that was out here, and they fold up. Naturally, that's for making it more compact so you can store it and move it when you're not riding it. Does that affect the way the, the bike rides? Like, can you Thanks. feel any difference with that? Thanks for asking the question. Uh, that is the fundamental no compromise approach that, that I've taken. So living in London, I have two of the eight bicycles stolen. And then secure the ground parking with CCTV camera. Right? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and generally people think, well, if I have a, um, what I call wagon wheel bike, a, 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 a bike that doesn't fall out, I have a better riding seat. Sure. But then if you go into bikes that fall we need, they are completely compromised in the riding position. Mm-hmm. And that's the no compromise approach that Go Cycles take it. There is absolutely zero compromise to the rider fit. Sure. But in a very short amount of time, you can hold the product up. Uh, and... Oh, yeah. I need this question for you. So I get it very quickly. You've got a compact product put underneath your stairs. But you could still move it very easily yeah. with the wheels on the ground. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you don't actually have to, like, worry about picking it up to, exactly. to get it. Still, it's one of the lightest seat bay- e-bikes around. So you okay. it upstairs, in a lift, mm-hmm. the elevator, bring it in your car. Sure. All of that stuff is taken into account. Well, that is 
So that is quite fantastic, actually. <laughs> so that's really neat. Right. So it doesn't come. I'm going to go for a ride and then we'll see what, what I think uh, uh, after that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I, I'm having a hard time finding the words because I really enjoyed that. Uh, let me take this off. So I think that's a good result. Uh, so got a couple questions, naturally. Um, the gears, you know, you've got three gears. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a Shimano gear drive, uh, which is actually modified to go cycles. It's okay. Design. It's the only one in the world that's side mounted. It was so seamless yes. yeah. that... Honestly, had I not asked you, I would have thought, okay, well, it's an electric motor, only has one gear, but they're changing the input of how much resistance you have to pedal. Yeah. But you actually have a gearbox. Yeah. Yeah. You can't tell. I mean, yes, you're shifting gears, but it's just so seamless and smooth through that where you don't have any kind of like, with, with any other traditional bicycle, the chain has to boot. Yes. And it's clunky. Yes. None of that with this. So yeah. that is, See, is that's, awesome. That's probably also a little bit about our uh, control system. Like I said, you know, we take a holistic approach from the beginning. Um, the firmware and the drive system of how we in power. Uh, that's all that designed by us. Sure. Work well with everything. Is this considered a class two or a class yeah. three? It's not three. It's class two? Yeah. 20 so, miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. So 20 miles an hour. Uh, technically, um, it, it's programmable depending on the region you're in. Right, your dealer to yeah. type one or type two. Okay, yeah. around here, it's type one. It's type one. That's so need to be moving. And, and I would, I mean, what speed could I have I achieved? An hour. So I don't know that I got up to twenty, but honestly, yeah. I didn't need to. Like, yeah. I like speed, but around here, it it. I really, I'm just at a loss for words because it was the experience of riding this very different from the traditional bicycle, but. It was yeah, very cool tour. It was like yeah. have the the difference between having cake and having cake with icing and cherries and strawberries and things on top of it. Like sure. you've definitely made something that sure. will just put smiles on people's faces. Yes. But it, it goes down to things like the tires. Those are our tires. That's our design. Okay. Yes, they are made by a um, uh, Stein, which is a very highly reputable tire in fact. But it's it's we've gone down to the to the, the casing of the tire and the suppleness. Those are one of the lowest rolling resistance tires in the market. Okay. Uh, in 2013, actually, a go cycle wheel in a uh, human powered vehicle set the world speed record for a human 83 miles an hour in Battle Mountain, Nevada. Okay. So, all these things, when you talk about that experience, the tires, the motor, the, the drive system, the whole thing comes together to, to give right. you that. So, it sounds like you've over engineered. Uh, uh, certain aspects of this quite a bit. Yeah, we should uh, be guilty of that. <laughs> so I, let's get down to the details that naturally people are going to want to know. Sure. What's the price for what we're looking at here? So, so, I mean, I would put the price down to what's the price for good health. You know, cool. So let's start there. Okay. Um, you know, I just I just step that question back a bit. Our, our company is one of the only companies headquartered in the UK. We have a US uh, company also. We pay our staff 40p a mile to commute by a bicycle. Oh, wow. So we believe in uh, the health benefits sure. of the product. And when you're on an e-bike, you generally become more healthier uh, in, in, your, in your own self. You become more efficient with your time. Um, so all of those things go into our starting price point of 34, uh, 34.99. Okay. That's for our e four model. Uh, then we jump up to five four nine nine, and then our top of the long, top of the range model with all the extra carbon bits mm -hmm. uh, is six nine nine nine. Okay. So which one is this? Uh, you've ridden the G four I, which is at the five four nine nine price point. Okay. Well, I want one. <laughs> um, in terms of service, like if somebody needs new tires, naturally they can't just go down to the bike store and put whatever tires on this to get the same experience and performance and everything out of it right. um do you guys have like an online store that people can order parts and then uh, how would that work we do uh we've been operating in the u.s since 2017 
Um, we actually we are a company that has a dealer network. Okay. We believe in local service. Yeah. So yes, you can buy directly from GoCycle. You can get accessories and all that from GoCycle. If you want to buy from the local dealer, you can buy from the local dealer. Also, um, service can be done through your dealer at your dealer. You can ship it directly to us. So we we try to uh, use a strategy that works for each individual mm -hmm. consumer. Sure. Uh, battery size. Uh, or longevity, most people, like what kind of range would they expect to be able to get? So, you know, 30 to 50 miles, depending on your rider input, you know, tire pressure, the way the fitness level, all those things. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of variables that go into range Yeah. with any electric vehicle or gas power for that matter. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, certainly, you know, people are always wanting to know a ballpark. Of, of what to expect. Yeah. In my opinion, the entire e-bike industry has overcooked all their batteries. They put on enormous amounts of batteries, which is just making the product heavier. Oh, of course. Coming from yes. the uh, motor racing industry, that's just against my philosophy. Yeah. So, uh, but what you find is, you know, after having sold nearly 30,000 go cycles, very few, I, it's probably number on the hand that people complain about Ranger. Sure. Uh, because it, you, they have the same experience you have. And at the end of uh, the, what you're trying to do is it's you and the, and the mode. It's not a replacement. If you'd like that, get a motorcycle. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this, you can pedal this. If somebody did get to a point where they just weren't paying attention, because that's really when somebody's going to have it just drained completely. Yeah. You can still pedal this and, and operate it that way, or do you yeah. need to have energy in the battery? No, no. Um, you know, it's it's an incredibly lightweight product to begin with. Mm -hmm. As I said, the rolling just the tires is amazing. Yeah, you, you can ride it just as a normal bike, or or have that range of sensing. Sure. As people say, uh, it's basically amplifying you the battery. It's an amplification. Battery. Sure. Okay. I like that. I like that. Well, Richard, I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes to talk to us about these. Well, um, if somebody wants to follow the company and just keep an eye on things, or even if they're like, you know what? Zach is convincing. Richard's convincing. I'm going to buy one right now. Where do they go? GoCycle.com. You can find a local dealer there or buy from us directly. Easy enough. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I think it goes without saying that I really enjoyed speaking with Richard and getting a chance to demo the Go Cycle at Electrify Expo earlier this year. What an experience. Honestly, I'm discovering a lot of similar characteristics with a number of the CEOs that I've spoken with and founders of companies where they look out into the marketplace and they're searching for a solution to a problem that they probably have themselves and they realize that the marketplace doesn't have a solution. So they go out and create one. GoCycle is no different. They really felt that the world deserved a better bike. And they designed it and went ahead and built it from the ground up. And I think that is really something that if you want to achieve excellence, you have to start with a blank sheet of paper. You can't just pull from different parts from here and there and try to fit them all together and make it work because yes you can build something but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be the best something and i have ridden a lot of e-bikes and there is no experience like the go cycle so i'm really excited to bring this one to you and i hope you enjoyed this short interview before i end the episode i definitely want to thank the patreon supporters who choose to support my efforts here at ev resource with their hard-earned dollars at the director tier the top tier we have rajiv narayan and andy cooper at the executive producer tier christopher lawrence i will get back to the ev resource hotline and question of the week next episode i'm going to give another week to give a chance to answer that so uh if you haven't already go over to the patreon page for ev resource simply patreon.com slash ev resource you do not have to be a current patreon supporter in order to participate so go check that out i have the post pinned right to the top you can see what the question of well at this point last week was and share your thoughts because i'm really interested in hearing what you have to say as always i appreciate your feedback if you have anything to share you can email me at hello at ev-resource.com and that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I'll catch you next time.